This is a demonstration of the Western Multiplex Lynx data radios. Uh, these are radios that uh, work over 2.4 gigahertz and have a approximately one and a half megabit per second uh, data link. Uh, the radios use uh, spread spectrum and uh, each set of radios can, uh, can uh, use a frequency set within that band. Um, so one radio transmits at a certain frequency and the other receives it on that frequency of course but at the same time the other one transmits at a different frequency back to the first one. Uh, the pair that you see have uh, matched uh, frequencies there. Um, the spread spectrum requires a code setting, it's one out of four and they have to match between the two radios. Um, that's the case also in, with these radios. Um, the primary link uh, is uh, 1.544 megabit per second and it interfaces to uh, a DS1 interface on the back of the units uh, using T1 protocol, it's, which is a serial uh, protocol. Uh, along with the data, uh, the radios can also communicate status and configuration and they keep track of the link quality. Um, and in addition to that, uh, there's also a telephone-like voice channel um, to, uh, to be able to uh, directly talk uh, between the two, uh, two radios. Uh, in this setup, I've uh, instead of uh, attaching uh, antennas, uh, 2.45 gigahertz antennas, I have uh, tied the two together using an attenuator. Uh, the attenuator is uh, set at a certain value uh, when using 22 dBi uh, antennas. Uh, in that case, it would equate to approximately 124 dB path loss so if you have uh, if you have a clear link then uh, that would equate to uh, approximately 10 miles but that of course uh, depends on your antennas and how you uh, how you set the whole thing up uh, I can demonstrate the, the units here unfortunately I cannot demonstrate the primary link but I can show you what the uh, the voice channel uh, that it works and uh, so let's turn the units on as you can see it first uh, tries to negotiate and, and link the two uh, together um, the, the LEDs on the right are called far end which means that if a radio uh, lights up that LED then it means that it sees and has connected to the other radio which is the case uh, here as you can see the LEDs on the left are called um, data loss um, but the only reason for that is that uh, the, uh, the interface at the back of the radios is not connected so it doesn't see any data coming in. Well let's try out the uh, the phone line. Uh, we have uh, I have a small handset here connected to the first radio and I'm gonna dial now on the telephone that's connected to the second radio. Sorry I gotta take this off. Hello? Yeah, thank you. And that concludes the demonstration of these radios. Thank you for watching.